So when we're looking at people's feet, many people don't know that the foot can get subluxated or out of alignment as well. Now when a bone's out of alignment or subluxated, it alters neural firing into the brain and thus back out. So that's motor control in regards to the foot. If your spine's out of alignment, it's gonna affect the flow to your organs and other tissues. But here we're dealing with the foot and uh, what we've got here is not only a laterally rotated, so the first metatarsal here, the big toe, is rotated, here we go, like this way. So we want to adjust that, but above that, the first cuneiform, which is this bone here, is out of alignment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the knee over like this, and we're gonna go ahead and let the foot relax. And that was a superior first cuneiform. And then we're gonna leave the first metatarsal and let the body readjust itself but if you're a runner, if you've had foot problems or foot pain, you gotta have your feet checked, just like you gotta have your spine checked, just like you gotta have your teeth checked. Simple. It attaches into the lower ribs. Foot relax, loose, loose. Give me a good stretch to the foot. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring this knee in a little bit. Drop your foot. Stretch again. Beautiful hips in the midline. It's like, feels like gristle at the top. So, misfiring muscle for quite some time. Oh. Wow. Champ. All right, sir. Here we go. Let's make sure everything's moving. Bend the knee. Foot relaxed. Amazing, Jay. Let's check this one. Bend here. Knee in a little bit. Foot relaxed. Beautiful, sir. Face down again, please, coach. Okay, foot relax, sir. Let it go. Same thing, right? Scoot towards your head a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, relax your ankle. There's a little bit. And then face down again, sir. Foot relaxed. Foot relaxed again. Wow. So much scar tissue, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Foot relax, sir. Loosen up a little bit. Beautiful. Nice little gentle adjustment. We're going to go face down, champ. Ricky's like, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. You all right, sir? I am perfect. What we do here is we're going to adjust the, the big toe. Um, we call it the first metatarsal. So we're going to bring his heel in, and we're going to roll this here and let the foot relax, bud, all the way. Perfect. Many times when people have a problem in their lower back, it goes down to the knee, the foot gets out of alignment, we put that back in alignment, correct the lower back, problem solved. So we've been working on Desi's foot here, and she's got some lovely metal in her leg there from an injury, and what we've been doing is correcting the muscular imbalances, and now we're gonna adjust her foot. So we're gonna adjust this cuneiform, is what we call it, and when the foot is stuck, it needs to move, so relax your foot, Des. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> When we get the foot adjusted properly, it facilitates muscle firing and allows everything to work properly. So when adjusting the foot, one of the favorite adjustments that people love when they're athletes, when they work out, when they wear high heels, or they're on their feet a lot, is the navicular. Now, the arch of the foot is held up by the navicular bone in here. And that navicular bone can drop down, and so what happens is then the arch will drop. That stretches the plantar fascia. That'll cause pain. So here what we're going to do is give it a specific scientific, drop that right there, chiropractic adjustment. And that was for a drop navicular. So if you're a runner, if you have foot pain, we've got to correct the imbalances in the leg. got to correct the imbalances in the spine. Usually the issues come from the spine. we got to adjust that foot. Here we're going to adjust what's called the navicular. A lot of times when we've got a lower back issue, the lower back's tight, tense, out of alignment, then there's a kinetic chain between the lower back, the pelvis, the knee, the feet. And so this is something that will cause pain. Yeah, a little bit, right? Yeah. For a lot of people. Foot relax, breathe in deep, Killian. And out. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that was a big motion there, big movement. Right there. Not quite as much on that one. Oh, okay. There we go, and then lay face up. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. Right here. A little 
Oh, shit. Yep. Let this one go. Oh, hey. <laughs> Good job, sweetheart. Thanks. Check and adjust her knee if necessary, but her foot, we're going to adjust her navicular drop, drop, drop. Wow. <laughs> That was amazing. I'm going to lay face up, please. So there's a kinetic chain when there's an injury in the knee. It goes down to the foot, up to the hip. Um, lastly, let this relax. Let's check your knee for proper motion. Let it go all the way in. Drop, drop. There it goes right there. Foot relax. Let the knee roll in, Miss Melissa. Drop it down all the way. Foot relax. Perfect. All done, darling. Good to go. Thanks. So you might have seen one of our videos where we adjusted what's called the first cuneiform. You've got the metatarsal here, the first cuneiform, but on this adjustment, we're going to do a second cuneiform, the bone that's over to the side. And what's really important when you go to see a chiropractor is that you have a proper analysis done. So we want to make sure you understand what needs to be adjusted or what doesn't need to be adjusted. So here we go. We're gonna roll that knee in a little bit, let the foot relax, knee rolls in a little bit, and my hand's gonna cover it, but it's right there. That was a solid second cuneiform adjustment. Oh, go. Come on. Wait, what? Relax, we're gonna adjust. Wait, what? Relax, relax, relax. Foot relax, shoulders relax. There you go, let it go, bud, let it go. Easy, easy. Okay, we got a little bit of motion there. That one can relax. We're gonna, we don't adjust it based on how it feels. We adjust it, let go bud, let go. <laughs> we adjust it based on if it needs it or not. So anytime you strain the muscles bud, you're good, you're okay. Leg down, what's gonna happen? Let go, I got you brother, I got you, I got you. What's gonna happen is those joints are gonna subluxate. Yeah. It's yeah, so what, what's gonna happen, the reason that hurt is because the muscle, the tendon is stretched, the ligament is stretched, the muscle's having trouble holding it. So what we did was we went ahead and corrected the muscle imbalance, we adjusted the foot, we adjusted the low back where the nerves go to the foot. Now what we're gonna do is put some tape on it, not like the athletic tape that'll hold it really strong, but just to reinforce to his brain that it's in the correct position. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna ice it later. You dialed in bro. We're gonna adjust her first cuneiform now. We're gonna breathe in nice and deep, all the way out. So, there we go, right there. Foot is well subluxated there. She's also got a bruise, she kicked something. I walked into a fan. It happens. Ooh. Nice and tight there, so we'll come back to that. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and lay face down again, please. Sit it out. We want him healing and functioning optimally, so we're gonna adjust his First metatarsal, let your knee roll in, bud. Breathe in nice and deep. And out. Foot relax. Okay, a little bit stiff there, but you did just fine. Foot relaxed again, bud. Wow. You feel that? Yeah. <laughs> that was a, yeah, that was, you heard you felt that too, didn't you? That was a big adjustment, man. Good job. Okay, what's going to do here? Foot stays relaxed. Okay. That was amazing. Yeah, she needed here too. Right there, that one really Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, that was ready. Thank you. You're welcome, dialed in. Yes. And what you'll see is that we've done the rehab, got the muscles firing. I keep asking her to get out there and challenge herself, hike, right, Desi, he move, yeah. etc. And now we're gonna adjust her foot <laughs> and then we're gonna send her out into the world, Des. Okay, foot relax. So first we check, we've got a superior first cuneiform foot relaxed. Ooh. Beautiful, we got a little bit of movement there. Okay, checking the metatarsal heads. First metatarsal, there we go. I'm gonna bend here. See if we can get a little bit of motion in there. Foot's tight today, Des. Mm -hmm. Okay, and last one, D, we're gonna lay face down, girl. Let's see if we do a little motion to the navicular. There we go. Body relaxed, foot relaxed. Little stretchy stretch. Drop your foot. Okay, there we go. All right, young lady, you are all set. To that was just Whew, that was just for you, Freddie. We're gonna I do signed it. up just for that. Yeah, we're gonna do a little foot adjustment here. 
Oh, yeah. There we go. Got to get this man aligned so we can go out and play ball again. Okay. Now we're going to adjust the nerve supply. Go. We're going to breathe in again. Hold your breath. Don't do anything with your leg. This is a counter strain. Breathe and relax. If the knee is not firing properly, we know the foot's going to be out of alignment. So we're going to relax the foot, put some motion in here. Beautiful. <laughs> Many years of seeing patterns in the body, you pick up on those. Checking her tibias, making sure they're moving properly. Foot relax. We're going to do a gentle adjustment here. How'd we do there? <laughs> I thought it was weird. <laughs> right? Yeah. Now what we're going to do, Cora, let me just check your 